Ladies and gentlemen, I thank the leadership team of American Society for Civil Engineers for inviting me to the prestigious World Environmental and World Resources Congress 2023. In 2017, like I mentioned, I had the privilege of standing in front of you at this very forum, sharing the vision and dreams of the youngest state of India, Telangana. Today, I stand before you again, filled with pride, to recount the remarkable journey of Telangana after delivering on the vision of effective water utilization. This is a story of resilience and transformation. It is an account of groundbreaking engineering achievement. More than anything, it is a remarkable odyssey of the purpose-driven leadership of one man, our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri KCR. It is an absolute honor to be here today to share with you some of the incredible achievements of this young state of Telangana. Telangana has not only built the world's largest multi-stage lift irrigation project, Kaleshwaram, in a short span of four years, we've also ensured that we have become in India the first state to have completed Mission Bagiratha, providing piped drinking water connection to each and every one of our 10 million homes, and this is the first in India. These remarkable projects were not only completed in record time, but also with utmost efficiency and cost effectiveness. Telangana today has achieved extraordinary milestones in the last nine years. We can boast of, a, of the highest per capita income in India for a state. The state is also now become from 24th slot to the, it has risen to the second spot in contribution of rice and paddy cultivation. And more importantly, Telangana today, what, what we see in Telangana today is a far cry from what it was back in 2014. It was an arid, dry region, plagued by dry lakes, empty wells, and a severe lack of access to drinking water. The water crisis had reached a dire situation with groundwater levels hitting rock bottom. Desperate farmers were burdened by failed tube wells and bore wells, absolute lack of irrigation facilities, no support for farming from the government. Migration of farmers was rampant, and farmer suicides were tragically common. All of these challenges directly impacted the socioeconomic growth of the region, considering that 55% of the population relies on agriculture. But in the face of these challenges, a visionary leader emerged. Chandrasekhar Rao Kalvakuntla, popularly known as KCR, the leader of the Telangana statehood movement and the first elected chief minister. He had an uphill battle to transform Telangana's fate. And one, as one wise man said, I think it was Warren Bennis, leadership is the capability to translate vision into reality. Honorable CM, KCR's leadership can be, the, can be best described as this ability to turn his vision into reality. He had a clear vision of transforming Telangana and improving the lives of its people through strategic planning, innovative thinking, and meticulous execution. He translated his, his vision into tangible results. The completion of the Kaleshwaram project in record time stands as a testament to his exceptional leadership and his ability to turn ambitious ideas into concrete achievements. Driven by a relentless passion for change. KCR embarked on a mission to solve Telangana's decades-old water problem. He recognized the untapped potential of the river Godavari, flowing at a lower elevation than the uplands in the state. He assumed the role of both a chief architect and engineer. Despite the naysayers and conventions, he devised the Kaleshwaram multi-stage lift irrigation project, the first of its kind in India and the largest in the world. The Kaleshwaram project lifts water from an elevation of 90 meters above sea level to an astonishing 618 meters above sea level. It utilizes gravity to irrigate, to irrigate the parched uplands through a sophisticated system of canals and reservoirs. 
The colossal engineering marvel was completed in a record span of just four years with an investment of $11 billion. Even the Discovery Channel had actually documented this brilliant story, titled it as Lifting a River. To truly grasp the magnitude of this project, let me share some astonishing, astonishing statistics with you. The amount of earth moved during the construction would fill 101 pyramids of Giza. The steel used in this project would be enough to build 66 Eiffel Towers, and the concrete poured would erect 53 Burj Khalifas. And to give you a reference closer to home, I think it would be able to build at least a few Hoover dams. Such is the grandeur of this megastructure. The Kaleshwaram lift irrigation project stands as a remarkable engineering feat, spanning a vast distance of 500 kilometers and encompassing 13 districts. It utilizes the extensive canal network of over 1,800 kilometers. It consists of seven mega links, 28 packages, with 22 pump houses built across 20 centers. We have installed mega pumps, each with 139 megawatts of capacity. Water shortage arrangements, water storage arrangements, have been completed in 20 reservoirs. We've also built the largest artificial reservoir, Malana Sagar, in India, with a goal to increase the total cultivable command area across all 13 districts and stabilize the existing command areas. This project has had a transformative effect in India's irrigation landscape. The project aims to utilize 240,000 million cubic feet of water with allocation for irrigation, drinking water supply, and industrial consumption as well. The Kaleshwaram project has transformed Telangana into the new rice bowl of India, irrigating nine million acres of land with two crop cycles. The gross irrigated land has increased by an impressive 119% and paddy production has multiplied fourfold. Let me also quickly share the groundwater levels, hitherto which were completely depleted, today have risen almost by six meters in some districts. And now this has become a parched land, once a dry region, once a parched land, Telangana. Today has become a case study for our Indian administrative service officers when they're indoctrinated into the service. Now the area under paddy cultivation increased from 25 lakh acres, which is 2.5 million acres, to 9.7 million acres in a span of four years. Planned investments in new irrigation projects and revitalization of existing systems contributed to the expansion of cultivated land. CMKCR's policies and initiatives have led to sustained growth in the primary sector's contribution to the state's economy, with significant increase in the gross state value added of the crop sector and agriculture forestry, livestock, and fishery sectors as well. Farmers' income has been augmented by supporting rural livelihood mission. As we celebrate the remarkable achievements of the Kaleshwaram project in revolutionizing irrigation and ensuring water abundance in Telangana, I'm also delighted to introduce you to another extraordinary initiative called as the Mission Bagirata, which again is a flagship program of KCR Telangana government. This flagship program is designed to provide safe and reliable piped drinking water to every household in the state. The Kaleshwaram project and Mission Bhagiratha are interconnected endeavors. Just as Kaleshwaram project transformed the agricultural landscape, Mission Bhagiratha eradicated water scarcity and elevated the quality of life for our citizens. 28 million people are already benefiting from Mission Bhagiratha's piped drinking water supply. Mission Bhagiratha successfully eliminated fluoride contamination in drinking water, reducing the number of fluoride-affected villages in my state from 967 to zero. With this visionary endeavor, Telangana has become the first state in India to achieve 100% coverage of tap water connections, ensuring a sustainable 
and prosperous future for generations to come. Hyderabad, the capital city of Telangana, is the only city with assured water security for the next five generations. Kaleshwaram project and Mission Bhagiratha have played a crucial role in addressing the water scarcity issues in Telangana. The world's favorite beverage, Coca-Cola, Coke, uses the treated water from Mission Bhagiratha, and they are setting up a very large plant in my state. Mission Bhagiratha also has led to the, to the reduction of disease burden. No fluorosis, no fluoride, no gastroenteritis problems, and also seasonal epidemics and seasonal endemics have become a matter of uh, history. The Kaleshwaram project has not only solved the water problems, but it has also been instrumental in boosting the five revolutions that were just mentioned. A green revolution by improved paddy production, improved cultivation. Telangana has become the second largest paddy producer in India today. A white revolution has been ushered in with milk production capacity growing by 380% in the last eight years. A pink revolution is being ushered in the way of improved livestock production and consequentially creating a vibrant meat processing industry. We have now become number one in inland fisheries among Indian states, ushering in a blue revolution for aqua fish culture and shrimp culture. Our value production in the aqua area has improved by 122%. And Telangana also has improved its oil palm cultivation by about seven times, and we have an audacious target of two million acres under cultivation for oil palm. These achievements have ensured increased food grain availability, benefiting approximately 40 million people and contributing to India's food security needs. These remarkable success of, the two, of these two projects in Telangana is a testament to the hard work and dedication of our exceptional engineers. People from different states in India came together, contributing their skills and expertise to make these projects a reality. Despite the challenges posed by COVID-19, all involved have worked tirelessly, demonstrating unwavering commitment and resilience. Engineers and other experts played a crucial role in the planning, design, and execution of these projects, showcasing their technical prowess and innovation. The Kaleshwaram project is a testament to a leader's relentless pursuit and unwavering commitment. KCR, by lifting a river against all odds, has uplifted millions of lives and livelihoods in Telangana. I'm told by Sri, my friend here, that IPWE is looking at an opportunity to visit India to actually hold a convention in India. I welcome all of you to my state, Telangana, to our beautiful city, Hyderabad, in 2025. We would be happy to host, happy to ensure that you actually get a first-hand exposure to these two brilliant projects. In the presence of the esteemed American Society of Civil Engineers and EWRI, let me proudly say that the story of Telangana is an inspiration to us all, demonstrating the power of innovation, perseverance, and engineering excellence in transforming lives. As the river flows with renewed vigor, may the spirit of Kaleshwaram project continue to inspire us all to defy limits and to create a future where no challenge is too great and no dream is out of reach. Thank you very much.